Uganda Revenue Authority has concluded its taxpayers' appreciation season 2020 with an award ceremony of stakeholders at Mestil Hotel in Kampala. Unlike the previous events of the same nature, this year's events gave prominence to the exceptional small and medium enterprises from across the country. Gracing over the event, the Finance Minister, Matia Kasaija, emphasized on the need for Ugandans, especially the business community, to promptly pay their taxes. The bulk of the money must come from our taxes, what we call domestic revenue. That's how we, we, that's how we, 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 we balance our budget. So if the revenue is small or is insufficient to meet, like now this coming financial year, then it means you have to borrow more money, either from outside or from inside the country. His sentiment are re-echoed by John Musinguzi, the Commissioner General, URA. In the time of COVID, we've learned that as a nation, we will only pull through from our own internal resources. So we are focusing on domestic mobilization of revenue. So let everybody pick a leaf from this good example. He noted that the revenue body is adopting new technologies such as the digital stamps in order to curb tax evasion. Sometimes our people are very innovative. They can forge almost everything. But this uh, technology of digital tracking uh, solution is proven, tested. Uh, we've just acquired gadgets that can verify the authenticity of this stamp. The same will apply on IFRIS. These things can be verified. No one will give you an ordinary receipt and claim it is physicalized. You'll be able to verify that on your phone. The companies, organizations and individuals who are recognized by URA were appreciative. If we don't pay taxes, then we don't get enrollment. We don't get hospitals, we don't get schools. But of course, as a taxpayer, I hope that URA will widen their net, collect more from more people than concentrating on the few who are compliant. Our tax compliance issues has come a long way. Uh, in 2017, we had to pay taxes in arrears, so we, we learned really the hard way. Of course, it gives us confidence, because even the community that we serve at the end of the day, if they see that we have such an award, you know, they will have confidence in what we do. Over the years, Uganda Revenue Authority has laid strategic actions and made decisions that have resulted in increased revenue, mainly driven by improvements on administrative efficiency. Dennis Igoa and Robin Yoso for UBC Business.